Hi, David, they call me MacGyver. Today I'm going to show you how to make an eight foot picnic table. I downloaded these prints off of the internet from construct101.com and they just ask for a small donation and then they'll allow you to uh, download the PDF files and print it off. So that's what I did. Uh, there is one spot in there that I changed the uh, angle. They have a table brace that is it set, they have it set at 20 degrees and I it just didn't fit right so I did it at 22 and a half and in the video I will show you uh, which brace that is as well um, but hang tight and we'll get started so I'm making five of these tables but um, that's why there's so many battens here on the top here these are the tabletop battens that go underneath the tabletop and each one of these will get two screws coming up from the bottom so there's five marks and then there will be a screw going in on either side then these are the uh, seat braces and they get five screw five pocket hole screws and then they'll also get two screws on the end going through a brace that comes across the end of the table you'll see that once we uh, get done here So after I've got one of these done, I'm going to make, I have to make four of these for each table, two under each uh, seat. So I just use the first one as my jig and uh, put the same marks on them. That's my third one. And then one more, but uh, we're going to move on. I'm going to show you the Craig pocket hole jig. There it is. And on the side, you can see some numbers, and that tells you what the thickness of wood that you're using. So for mine, we're going to be using the inch and a half because these are two by sixes. So you move it and line the arrow up with the inch and a half. That gives you your, your angle and your depth. Well, actually, it gives you your angle. Your depth comes off your drill bit. And I've already preset mine, but I will show you in my uh, box here. It actually is marked at inch and a half. And you can see I've got the stop set in there. And then there's an Allen wrench in the box. And you just put it there and then tighten it up. And then there's a book that shows you for inch and a half wood, you use a two, a two and a half inch pocket hole screw. And they have a square head and the the bit actually comes with the kit so it's a nice long bit and these are our battens and i'm drilling two holes um, on each batten so on either side of the the lines of the batten i'm actually drilling those be sure you drill them the right direction because the you want a, the screw to go up into the table so the longer angle goes towards the tabletop and then these are for the um, seat braces and these just get one hole per um, per pocket, one pocket hole per uh, mark. And the jig has two holes on it. And just pick one you're going to use and stay to the same one so that the distance is always the same. And we'll do this on all, all four of the braces for the uh, seats. And... This Craig jig has metal liner, so it, it wears a lot longer than some of them that aren't metal. It's got a metal sleeve in there to protect it. And my fifth hole on the end, it's, it's evenly spaced from the end. It looks like it's really close to him, but it's the same distance this first one was on the left side. Now I laid my table out on a piece of plywood on top of a table and then I put spacers and I put clamps to suck it together. Those are quarter inch pieces of plywood. We put our battens down, we put the glue, we run a pocket hole screws in all those and that will finish the uh, assembly of the tabletop. And then we're gonna put the legs on. And so uh, the legs actually go from the edge of the second tabletop board on the outside edge is the outside edge of the leg so you'll see as i put this up here i will line up the outside edge the inside edge overhangs onto that next board you can see it overhanging that third board but the edge of the second board and the leg are lined up we'll put a couple quick clamps on there to hold this 
is we're going to take a 3 8 drill and we're going to drill through this um, to pilot the hole for the carriage bolts. And those are 3 8 by 3 and a half inch galvanized carriage bolts. And this is pressure treated lumber. And that was the carriage bolt I just showed you. And we're going to tap it in there. Yeah, it's almost on and I've got another clamps, so I wish you good. Get it, get it through there, and then I've got a little wire brush here. I clean the threads on the carriage bolt so that you get all the crud out of it after driving it through that hole. A washer, and of course then a galvanized nut, and I recommend using galvanized to galvanized. Then you tighten it up with a 9 16 uh, socket, and then you drill the second hole. And the location of these holes are going to be a little easier to see after I um, start working on the brace that goes across the, the legs, the seat brace that fastens on the legs. So that had a little piece of wood that chipped out, but that's okay. You get to clean the threads out with your wire brush, put your washer and your nut on there, drive it up, and do this to all four legs. And then we're going to put uh, the um, seat brace, and I use it just for a straight edge up at the top because we're doing this all upside down. I'm uh, going to measure down 16 and a half inches and put a mark on both of the legs, keeping your tape as straight as possible so you're as accurate as possible. And then you take uh, quick clamps, and you can put a quick clamp right on that line just like divide the line in half with your quick clamp because this is going to be a stop for you when you take that uh, seat brace and put it down below here right there we go and make sure you put it the right direction see the larger angle is toward where the seat will be then we want to center this on those legs and so we get it real close here and then I'll throw a clamp on, on here just to kind of hold it from falling over. And then I'll remeasure making sure that we're getting exactly where we want to be. And I think I was just just a tiny tiny bit off so I'm going to just tap it. Yep that's good. I'll put another clamp up there just to hold it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to actually mark the bottom of this brace line, lining up with the two edges of the leg because then we're going to have to take it back off and put uh, that tight bond waterproof glue on here. So you remove that seat brace and then we're going to squirt some glue on there and you just kind of eyeball where you're going to go remembering that two by six is five and a half inches. And you could mark these if you wanted to be sure and just keep away from the line. You don't want to go too close to the line because you will have glue drip and squeeze out. So now I'm lining up the two lines that I made on each leg, making sure I'm back there. And then after I get it lined up, I'll grab a clamp. I'll pull that up. Same thing on the other side. And just like we drill below, we're going to drill uh, some 3 8 holes for those carriage bolts. And I think this is my fourth or fifth table and my drill bit's getting a little bit dull, so you see it smoking a little bit, but uh, also the wood is wet, which is kind of interesting. When it's wet, it has a tendency to smoke a little bit more. So we'll tap that one in. Clean the threads with a wire brush. A little tiny wire brush is great. Get the garbage out of those threads. Put your washer on, then your galvanized hex head nut. And this one had a little booger on one side, so I turned it around and tried to drive it on and make sure I didn't strip the carriage bolt. We'll do the same thing on this carriage bolt.
Again, remember to clean those threads, put your washer on, your nut on, mug it up with your impact driver if you've got one. And we're gonna do this with all four and then we're gonna measure two inches and seven and three quarter inches. And I'll take my uh, square and we'll draw a couple lines. That just lets me know where the outside and inside of the, or inside of the two by four is gonna go. And I just noticed that that two by four is a little bit shorter than what the space is. So we're gonna suck that up. This, you know, you get a little twist in the wood and it doesn't take much and it makes it too wide. So we're gonna suck that together. Now I'll just ratchet it up and snug a little bit. And then we'll try our board again. Now I don't show in this uh, in this video, unfortunately. I must have cut that portion out. But after I got this in here uh, snug, you know where it was snug. Then I just pushed it um, away from me a little bit and put glue in there and put screws in it. And then I did the same thing on the other. You can see the screws on the end of that uh, seat brace. Um, there's four screws, two in each. Then we're going to put the seats on and I'm using my um, quick clamps again. And I do the outside one first so I make sure it's lined up with that tip on that um, seat brace. And this is just uh, to hold it to get it up so I can mark it to where I want to put my glue on it. Checking to make sure my boards are centered. They are. I just then I remark everything. Um, on all sides of the boards. And you'll see here, as I drop this down, that gives me lines to stay between while I'm putting the glue on the uh, seat, on the bottom of the seat, to go up against that brace. Don't get too close to your lines because it will squish out and you'll have glue dripping and running. So just wanna make sure you get a good, good amount of glue on there. But not so much that you're going to have it messy all over. And then hang on to the seat because when you lower this other clamp, it'll fall if you don't hold on to it because the board is more than twice the width of the clamp's face. Put more glue on that. After we get that on there, then we're going to ratchet it up. And we've already got the line on there from when we had it up here before, so we know where we need to put the put the board, and that'll keep it in place pretty well. It, it's going to adjust; it's going to move a little bit as you crank up the other side, but that at least gets us started. And of course, you've got a line on the other side; you can see where you're at as well. And then I come back to this side and readjust it, just making sure it's up there, snug, getting everything lined up. And then we'll put the uh, pocket hole screws on this side. But before we do that, we're going to put a couple clamps on. Now, I show these at an angle, but they actually you can actually put them straight and they'll barely catch that brace. And that's actually how I do the inside of these. Um, but you just want to snug them up. You don't want to re reef on them too much. And then these are the pocket hole screws. And I'll leave a link in the description so you can uh, know where to get those as well. And we're just going to run our pocket hole screws down. Also, you'll see me put my hand out there. I'm making sure that I didn't run them through the seat. That would not be comfortable if somebody had to sit on a screw head or a screw, screw tip. So if you do go down too far, just back it out a little bit. Another tip is that you could adjust your uh, gauge on your drill just a little bit uh, shy of where it says to put it and that'll give you a little bit more depth. I mean just like an, a sixteenth of an inch or an eighth of an inch max. Then we're going to do the inside board for the seat. So I release that clamp and then this one 
I'm just gonna do the same thing I did um, on the first board. You pull it here and you reef it up till it's up tight or snug. And then this one will uh, hold the board up there. And we're gonna use it and we just use, use it kind of like a jack. We pull it up and then we're gonna put a spacer in here. You wanna space these just like you did on the tabletop. You want a quarter inch space. And I, like I said, I just used a quarter inch plywood. Now you can see I'm marking all the area on that second board. So we know where to put the glue on it. And then after we after we get that done, we I take my spacer out, we drop this down, start putting glue on. This board's a little bit um, tougher to get to, so we're probably gonna just have a short distance here and then we'll go down and drop the other end and come from the other end. But again, when you lower this board, when you only have one clamp lowered, you're okay, but when you have both clamps, you gotta hang onto that board so it doesn't fall off there. You can see me hanging onto that board as I go along. In this bottle of glue, I think I did five tables with this one bottle of glue. So and it's, you know, just the, the filler bottle. You can buy it by the gallon. We're re putting our spacer back in, getting this up there. And I've, I can already tell, you know, because I've got this board lined up with the end of the other board. Plus I've got the mark on there from where we're gonna put the glue, where we put the glue. And it'll drop down a little bit after you pull the other end up, but it's not really that bad, so. And I did come around and snug up that other clamp. Now I'm gonna climb in from the backside and I just started a pocket screw there, but I'm gonna use my quick clamps just to suck that up a little bit. See, now I adjusted the clamp so it's straight up and down rather than angled. Check it, make sure that the screw didn't go through. Got another one right here. Checked it, we're good. I'm gonna put my other clamp on. Another pocket screw. And this is the fourth screw. And check it, make sure it's good and the fifth screw. Then of course you're gonna repeat this process on the other side. After you've got that done, then we, I've already got one of the braces put in, uh, but I'm putting glue on the end of it. And this is the board that I say should be 22 and a half degrees instead of 20 that they say in the uh, instructions it just fits better um, and we're running two screws on the end and two screws on this end and just stagger these so that the center line is like on the edge of each board one from one direction one from the other and there we've got our picnic table done well thanks a lot for watching i hope that was some good information for you i will leave a link down in the description where you can get the uh, craig pocket hole jig and the pocket hole screws and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do that. Click the bell icon. Then every time I come out with a new video, you'll be notified. Thanks a lot for watching. You have a great day.